Scandinavian nation of Sweden is in between its neighboring Nordic countries of Finland and Norway. In 2020, the mid-year population of Sweden was 10.1 million, and it was ranked 91st in the world. According to the European Union, Sweden's population density is approximately 25.4 inhabitants per square kilometer, which is one of the lowest in the world. The country's crude birth rate has been decreasing as more women are waiting longer to have children and are making the choice to have fewer children. In 2020, the crude birth rate had dropped by about 14% than what it was in 2010. Incidentally, the total fertility rate has also decreased along with the birth rates. Despite the fact that Sweden's fertility rate and crude birth rate is at their lowest point and has been steadily decreasing for years, the country's overall population continues to grow. Sweden's population growth is at 1.1%. This is contributed by three factors. One, there has been a steady influx of immigrants and refugees compared to the number of Swedes leaving the country. Sweden has a long history of immigration and is open to both refugees and immigration. Over the years, there have been more people entering Sweden versus Swedish people leaving the country. Two, there have been more births than deaths. Over the past few decades, demographers have also detected a trend in a decrease in Sweden's birth rate. While in comparison, the average fertility rate of Sweden is still higher than that of other European countries, this trend could inherently impact the future economy and sustainability of the country. The crude death rate of the country, however, has been decreasing as well, and between the years of 2010 and 2019, it dropped from a rate of 9.6 to 9.8. However, in 2020, the death rate spiked back up to 9.6 due to the coronavirus pandemic. 3. Life expectancy has increased. The average life expectancy at birth in Sweden has increased from 71.9 years in the early 1950s to 81.9 years in 2010 and then 83.3 years in 2020. This trend of continued fall in the birth rate and increase in life expectancy will lead Sweden to have what is called an aging population. This can be a huge economic burden for the country. An aging population means the cost of healthcare will increase and a slower workforce as more people would be older. In general, children and older people consume more in a country than what they can produce. So an aging population for the economy of the country means there are less productive workers and more consumers. Sweden does not have enough people contributing to the working population to support and grow the country's economy. Sweden has put into place multiple population policies to encourage women to start families. Their best known policy is their family policy, which focuses on providing families with the, facility, with the facilities that parents need in order to be able to have a stable job while also starting and or providing for their families. The Swedish family policy was first introduced to the country in the 1930s, covering priorities such as family financial stability and physical well-being, children's rights, and gender equality. These goals put in place by the government ensure that couples, both native and immigrants, have the opportunity to start a family without worrying about the welfare of their children or themselves. The government should continue to promote this policy to increase childbirth in the country and increase the crude birth rates. The, this family policy will be very useful in ensuring that there is a good working population in the future. However, in order to mitigate the current lack of working population, the country needs to increase the number of skilled people. Considering Sweden's already existing immigration and asylum policy, a large number of refugees have settled in the country. This population can be trained to become a part of a skilled working population, and the government of Sweden can have programs in place to help develop the necessary skills and help them get jobs. The government can provide access to training and workshops, academic, language, and vocational, based on the types of jobs available and required in the country. Sweden is also an attractive place for mig the migration of highly skilled people from Sweden is also an attractive place for the migration of highly skilled people from other countries. The current application process, however, is lengthy and tedious. The country needs to provide more attractive packages and opportunities for foreigners and, br and bring changes in the application process such that it is convenient and less time consuming. By following these recommendations, Sweden can ensure that there are steadily increasing birth rates, 
and the working population to support their economy in the future.